Dear Valentina, would you like to take my hand and become my wife in space while we land on Duna and become the first interplanetary couple slash husband and wife and start the first colony away from Kerbin? Please say yes. Please say yes. Oh, that sounds exciting, Bill. But you know what? While you were proposing to me, I think our spaceship ran away from us. And I think we're kind of lost in space now. Okay. <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video I decided to take a look at a really really awesome mod I've recently discovered that it actually came out a few days ago. And this mod is, uh, it's a lighter version of a really popular but really complex mod that I've been meaning to get into for so long. But you know what, every time I open it up, it just, it just, it's kind of like being hit in the face by a train because that's how complex it was. The mod I'm talking about is Modular Colonization System, also known as MKS. And MKS is essentially a really complex but super, super ultra fun mod that allows you to create a colony in space or on another planet by using these really cool uh, additional features that it uh, added to the game. Specifically, I'm talking about colonization modules. Now, this is my spaceship that I'm going to be landing on Duna just to start a first colony on Duna. And essentially, this is another take on that mode, and this one is called MKS Lite. Now, there's two reasons why this mod was released. So this is what MKS Lite adds to the game. It adds a few modules, and specifically, it actually adds the two subcategories. One is called Freight, and one is called Colonization. And all of the colonization modules are right here. This is essentially how you can make your colony anywhere on any planet, any satellite, any moon. Uh, it also adds these things called Freights, which are basically kind of like tanks and various um, uh, freight containers, essentially, where you can put extra things. Now, this is there is two reasons for that. One of them is that uh, you can obviously bring more fuel and so on. And look how big they actually get. This is the biggest one they have right now. It's huge. It's humongous. I don't even know how I'm going to lift that. Uh, but it also uh, it adds all of these various materials that uh, you can use to um, to basically start your colony. So every colony needs a few things. Specifically, it needs things like I believe they're called it's called mulch and dirt. And uh, there's also things that like um, uh -huh, where is it? Exotic minerals, rare minerals, and also things like uranium. Now, all of this stuff can be mined using the modules that are already in the mod. Um, or you can use the actual mining thing that uh, the game used to have. It's somewhere here. There you go. Drillomatic. You can also use that to excavate stuff. And then process ore to get all this extra materials. Now, what do you need this for? Well, um, some things you'll need to grow uh, plants in your agricultural module, which is right here. Some things you'll need to... Um, build new spaceships. There's actually a, something called Inflatable Workshop, which basically is the workshop that allows you to create spaceships. Now, in the mini version, in the light version, uh, you can't really make that much, but this mod, uh, this specifically the light version, is meant to be kind of a transition stage for the actual MKS, because the, uh, the actual MKS has all of these building structures, and you can even build rockets on other planets, but it's just so complex and so unwieldy if you just get into it from, from the beginning that for a, new, for a beginner, for a newbie, even for a seasoned uh, KSP player such as myself, it was a little bit too much. I just, you know, I had trouble figuring it out. It was kind of hard, even with the wiki. But this light mod, it, it does two things. So, yes, obviously, it's a good stepping stone to, to the... Um, uh, to the original MKS, not the light version, the original MKS. So if you figure out how the light version works, you can then try to play the original MKS because now you know how some of these parts work. But it also has a secondary uh, reason, and this is actually why I like this, is that this is a standalone mod that works by itself, which I'm going to show you when I land on Duna. Now, uh, one thing that it also adds, which I've never actually seen before in other mods, it adds a nuclear reactor that uses uranium and then produces depleted uranium, xenon gas, and electric charge. Now, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty brilliant. You can actually bring a nuclear reactor, and they come in different sizes, the biggest one being this big, huge, huge nuclear reactor, um, that you can then use uh, if you if you get enriched uranium somewhere, you can then basically build uh, an electric... Uh, mine there that also produces xenon gas, which you can then essentially use in your um, ion engines, which is pretty amazing, I think. It's a pretty good idea. Now, to build a nuclear reactor, you have to find uranium. To find uranium, you have to scan for it. So there's new scanning modules that allow you to scan planets uh, or, or moons, I guess. 
Uh, and essentially, using these scanning modules, uh, you can uh, map map out all of the resources on a specific object, on a planet, asteroid, or a moon, and then send your miners there, and then mine all the stuff and create a mining colony. Now, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something a little bit more fun. We're going to bring a completely inflatable awesome colony to Duna and start our life there and and then um, Valentina and Bill can live happily ever after and, and raise their kids there. Let's do that. And here is my super miniature but super inflatable uh, colony. I'm just going to position myself for uh, for uh, for encounter and hopefully I calculate everything correct. Uh, just in case I decide to bring heat shoes because I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not sure if this thing survives uh, extreme heat, but I'm going to guess that it doesn't. Uh, and in that case, we're going to have to rely on obviously on this heat shield in front. Uh, I also have brought the sort of a space elevator-like contraption that has parachutes that will open when we enter Duna. And if we don't have enough speed, uh, sorry, if we're going too fast, if we don't have an, um, if we don't slow slow down enough, we're gonna use these engines here that have about a uh, thousand delta V to try to decelerate and essentially. Uh, land safely on Duna. Now, if everything goes right, we should be on Duna in about a few minutes. If everything goes wrong, I'm gonna have to come back to you in a second. And here comes beautiful Duna with its beautiful clouds and somewhat thick, no, sorry, somewhat thin atmosphere. And all right, let's get into position. Uh, we're going at about 1500 meters per second. I think we get, oh, we even have more than that. We have 1300 Delta V. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. I don't know if I should start blasting this yet. Uh, actually, let's see where we are approaching this. Okay, so we're not bumping into any mountains. That's good. Uh, we're going to have periapsis of 9,700. Let's see if this is enough for us to slow down. If not, we might have to adjust our orbit a little bit. Um, and, ooh, okay, we're moving a little bit faster than I thought. I haven't been to Duna in so long, actually. I don't even remember what altitude I have to pass by for me to kind of slow down enough so I can uh, get into orbit around it or possibly land on it. But let's see if this works. So we're going to be pass passing around 9 kilometers above the surface. Uh, we know that Duna's atmosphere is very, very thin, so this might not be even enough for us to slow down, which is why we have our engines. They'll do the slowing down part, and then we'll open the parachutes and hopefully land. Now, like I said, this is all inflatable, so once we land, you'll see how awesome this is, because it's going to inflate and it's going to be pretty cool. I actually may want to... Oh, yeah, it also has this. Look at that. Isn't this awesome? It has these deployable legs. So this colony is going to have its own legs, but I should probably retract them now, because they might burn and disappear forever. Um, so, all right, so let's see how this goes. All right, Duna's approaching a lot faster than I thought. I may actually have to start using the engines, but I'm going to try to take my luck here or test my luck and see if I can land without using anything. I'm just going to go Kerbal style and just use a heat shield and try to land and we'll see how it goes. Um, so, yes, yeah, so this let me just talk a little bit more about the mod. Oh, here, here comes the burning at 35 kilometers. Uh, so this mod, why I really, really like it so far is that it does allow me to have these modules or these colony modules that obviously the um, stocks stock Kerbal uh, space program doesn't have and it allows oh no 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 oh that was so bad that is horrible that is not what i wanted at all what's the point of a heat shield it's if it's like other way around ah horrible horrible experience this is terrible but we you know what we're actually not we're not overheating yet so that maybe that's not so bad uh, I don't think it's atmosphere thick enough for us to worry about it. Oh, yeah. So, anywho, while we're watching this horrible experience unfold, and hopefully everyone survives and doesn't die, and by everyone, I mean Bob Kerman and Valentina Kerman that have been recently engaged in, uh, in the ceremony of space encounter. Uh, so, oh, okay. So, we, yeah, we, we have survived. That's awesome. So, we don't even need heat shields for, for Duna. I didn't even know that. Now I do. Now everybody knows that. Um, so, yes, um, this mod allows me to bring these modules that I don't really have in the Ker Kerbal stock, uh, stock Kerbal Space Program, and I don't even need to bother uh, making complex designs or anything because they're all unfoldable. So, basically, this mod is one of the first, if not the only mod I know, uh, to introduce these inflatable um, units, thingies, modules. You'll see what I mean in the second one will end. We're going at around uh, 400 meters per second. That's a little bit too fast, but you know what? I mean, I should have to start watching my surface distance. Okay, with nine kilometers in the air, that's that's fine. We'll slow down enough. 
we're not gonna die, I hope. Um, and what what's really impressive with this mod is that, I mean, first of all, it's like developed by like one person, I think. I think it's one person, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken. But the other thing is that uh, it, it, it's a really awesome stepping stone to using using the actual MKS, which is the much more complex, probably the most compl complex mod I know uh, in Kerbal Space Program. Th that essentially is absolutely awesome. You can, uh, I've seen people build ridiculous colonies in space, ridiculous colonies on other planets that have like everything from uh, an ability to build their own spacecrafts and essentially just mining everything, building pirates and then building their own spacecrafts and you know, launching them from that particular planet, which is pretty awesome. But to learn all that... Uh-oh, what, what was that? No, I want parachutes. There you go. To learn all that, I need to first start using this mod, which is a lot, a lot, a lot simpler and a lot uh, more effective in, in teaching me how to use um, all of these modules and how uh, colonization even works. All right, gear release. Release gear. Gear deploy. Okay, there we go. And I may have to start using my engines for safety. Excellent. Everything have been has been planned out pretty well. So far, we're doing well. We seem to be landing pretty cool. And uh, <laughs> this actual spaceship reminds me of Vostok series of the Soviet spaceships that kind of had a similar design. Uh, maybe a little bit different, actually. It's not very Vostok-ish, but the top part is definitely Vostok-ish. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. How you doing? Uh... Okay, good. Yay! Mission success, I think. Everyone fine? Wait, what's the wobbling? Oh, it's because of the heat shield. No! Stupid heat shield. Why did I bring that thing? I didn't even need it. Alright, so I'm gonna try to release this. And like this. Okay, ready, steady, and go! Ah, bye-bye elevator. Ha ha ha, that was awesome. I actually wanted this to work because I, I thought it was pretty cool. All right, so here comes the dust storm from, from Duna. Uh, before it occurs or before it gets here, let's deploy these. So look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. So you deploy these uh, inflatable modules. And here you go. Look at that. It's a primitive but effective colony. Now we can live here. We have our own vegetables. I think it's pumpkins. Maybe not. Uh, there is a storage where I can basically store dirt and ore, and I'm sure it can probably store, store more things if you have the actual uh, original version of um, of the mod, not the light version, but here it only stores dirt and ore because you need these to process things. You also have a workshop that allows me to build things uh, using rocket parts, and there's even another attachment where I can attach more things. And lastly, we have habitation module where we can live. So I can start my habitat, start a recycler, and... And you may need to learn more about what these things do, actually. But oh, here I can start agroponics and start growing my vegetables. Look at that. Operational. Efficiency, 100%. Uh, it uses something called mulch, and this is something that I believe I can mine. But I didn't actually bring a miner, so we don't have much of it. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, this is a pretty awesome mod. And let's actually take Valentina out for a spin. Well, oh, look at this beautiful sandstorm. Uh, that is That is really gorgeous. Um, a lot of people have been asking me what I'm using for the visual enhancement. It's actually, it's, it's the mod that's called that. It's, um, uh, I believe it's called Enhanced Visual... E, what does E stand for? I forgot. It's called EVE, E-V-E. -E. But here's the thing. The, uh, the latest version... Okay, Valentin is stuck. Valentin is lost. Valentin is lost in space. I need to remove these for a second. Um, EVE, the, uh, oh, the one that's kind of meant for uh, the final version of Kerbal Space Program, unfortunately doesn't work well uh, and doesn't even start my game, it crashes a lot. But I'm using the beta version, which you can still download as well. And the beta version works really well. It doesn't crash, it's, uh, it gives you all the benefits of this, having the effects. And, and so on and so forth. Anyway, so here comes Valentina. She's super excited because she's badass. She's gonna check out her pumpkins. Yeah, growing well, excellent. And look at the texture. It even looks like there's something rubberized. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this person definitely put a lot of work into making these as realistic as possible. And all of this is actually based on real designs from NASA. NASA is thinking of developing these inflatable modules that is going to send to Mars that will actually inflate on landing. So all of this is super realistic, uh, except of course it's more Kerbal. Now, um, I can perform maintenance. No, I can't. 
Can I disassemble? No, I can't. I, I'm not an engineer, so I can't do any of these. So yes, it does help to bring an engineer. So you can use all of the functions uh, by by uh, using all of these things. All right, so let's get inside of this. Let's see what it looks like inside. From what I understand, uh, the the inside, the, uh, um, the actual inside of the capsule is not particularly well developed yet. So it actually does look like a completely different module. But uh, the mod developer did mention that he's working on this right now. He wants to he wants to make it look realistic, but it's not his priority right now. So that's why the inside is not as beautiful, but the outside is great and it works fine. And uh, you can bring miners and start mining, or you can bring um, various other uh, items like the nuclear reactor, for example, that will produce xenon gas for you. And of course, you can also uh, have a satellite orbiting around Juno, for example, and mapping it out just so you can find uranium and other materials that you can then mine, expand your colony and make it much better. So this is essentially this modern nutshell. This is called MKS Lite, also known as Modular Colonization System Lite, uh, not to be confused with MKS, which is a more complex, bigger brother of this mod. And honestly, if you just want to build a colony and you just don't want to bother with, you know, uh, mining too much or uh, worrying too much about other things like resource gathering or resource management, which is what MKS has, and it's really, really complex in that mod. If you just want to build a colony and kind of have your pumpkins in space, this is perfect. This is great. And I really love this. I like. I really like how he decided to make this a completely different mod. And even if you're a beginner and you just want to kind of have fun and build colonies in space, this is perfect for you. Anyway, if you want to get this mod, I'm going to post the link for this mod in the description below. And let me know what you think about it, if you have any other recommendations for other mods. And I think we're going to stop this here. We have our own colony on Duna. It works great. It looks beautiful. And it's a success mission. And Valentina has just planted a flag that basically says, Thank you for watching, guys. And game you later. Bye-bye.